Welcome to Midgar's Last Stand. It's time to stop Hojo for good! Oh, hey, it's Katesy. I mean, I was going this way anyway, Katesy, but... Uh, I guess, if you're gonna insist on involving yourself. So, this right here... Oh, not quite. Hey, Vincent. Yeah, I can... I understand that sentiment. So, uh, this right here... Not this battle, just... We'll, we'll, we'll get to it again in a minute. Oh, hey! Actually, these guys! Let's see if this works. Soldier, first class! You can tell because his pants are purple. But could I steal? It, it's not really clear whether or not that's working. Um... Hmm. You know, let's just kill him. Uh, we're supposed to be able to steal Shinra Alphas from these guys. I don't even freaking know. I still don't even know if that's a damn thi- if that's a damn thing, so... Maybe we'll swap Manipulate for, like, more for something, though. I mean, it's equally useless, but... Whatever. Uh, where the hell's my other steel? Oh, it's, it's, it's down here. With all my restores. Uh, right. Let's, uh, sort those while we're in here. So this thing. This is why we want Barrett with us. This will not be here if Barrett is not in your party. Hey, this is... The Missing Score! Yeah, that will not be there if Barrett is not in your party, and this is your only chance to get it. It is, of course, Barrett's quote-unquote ultimate weapon. Um... I think it scales with his MP, but I don't re Wait. I'm pretty sure it scales with his MP. Like, 90%... Like, I'm in the 90s on the sureness of that. Uh, needless to say, he, just like all the other ultimate weapons, I'm not actually going to put it on him. Uh, right now. But, you know, we have it, so we can throw it on for the the final fight, I guess. I mean, I can't think of any other time I'll actually use the damn thing. Material growth is fairly important to me throughout basically the whole game. Hi, Hojo! Remember us? Indeed. Really? Because that just tells me you're a fucking terrible scientist. If you were a good scientist, you would be able to appreciate success from failure. Well, I guess there's that, yeah. But, uh, I mean, honestly, you should hate yourself because you're literally the worst. I mean, no, yeah, like, there's just no qualifier there. Well, I mean, I suppose technically there's the qualifier that you're the worst within Final Fantasy VII, but I think within this context it can be assumed that that I'm talking about Final Fantasy VII. Admittedly, Sephiroth is a... Admittedly, there's a... Sephiroth and a few other dudes are harder than you, but... Like, they're bigger obstacles in terms of the combat they present, but then again, you created Sephiroth in the first place. So, no, no, you're still the worst, even in that context. Your son. Yeah. So as I was saying, literally the worst. You're pretty much responsible for set. You are, in more ways than one, directly responsible for Sephiroth turning out how he did. Ah. 
Uh, and I feel kind of bad for Vincent as well. Or at least, at least by association with Lucrezia. I definitely feel bad for Lucrezia, but I already felt bad for her. Um. Yeah. A mass. He injected a massive amount of Genova cells into Sephiroth before he was born. Uh. Combine that with total. Total. With complete and total parental neglect, and you have Sephiroth. Although, even if he was. Sephiroth was raised by a parent family, he honestly might have turned out poorly anyway, because that's sort of what Genova cells do. Then again, Cloud is fine, so who knows? Maybe he. Maybe with a decent support structure, he might have been okay. Maybe. Oh yeah, also, he has injected himself with Genova cells as well. Because, you know, that's... He, he's a mad scientist. And terrible. Uh, yeah. Let's just kill this bastard. Um... Yeah. Let's just kill this bastard. Wait for it. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't fight any soldiers. Any more soldiers. Oh well. Let's kill his experiments first. Uh, if I remember right, they don't have much HP. So... Sure, let's kill them first. All of the counterattacks. All of them! Spin that arm, Barret. Yep, that one's already dead. Oh wait, I'm certain I've seen this small one on the ground before. Like, not obviously not this specific rendition, but I mean, just in general. I've seen this sort of enemy before, but I don't think I've ever seen the squid before. Are you gonna just make another squid? Oh, you totally are. Well, screw this then. We're, we're gunning for Hojo. I mean, two of my dudes are immune to status effects anyway. I'm pretty sure that's the what these guys... Well, they didn't inflict a status effect on Barret. Maybe they're just bad. Now I see! How is the Mako Juice reacting? Actually, did he inject himself with Genova cells? He might have just injected himself with a whole lot of Mako. But he probably put some Genova cells in there anyway. Uh, case in point. Wow. Just wow. Uh, this seems like a good time to summon Bamu. Hmm. Oh, you know, I did that wrong. I should have waited. I could have mimed Bamu, but now, but now I would just get uh, very secure instead. Oh well. Oh well. Hmm. Didn't I put MV Turbo on Bomb it? I thought I had. Hmm. Right, well, uh. Oh, speaking of status effects, you missed. The one character you could have actually affected in the first place. Uh, let's use Big Guard. And let's use. Hmm. Let's go with Beta? I guess. I'm not sure what, you're, what he's weak against. I know he, he absorbs bio. But that's not really a huge concern. Uh. Oh! Actually, I do know one other thing. I know that he will totally regenerate these arms if you take too long to kill him. But he's not really that tough, so... You know, if you take that long to kill him, you're probably doing something wrong. Let's kill that- oh! Yep, I just- I just put my foot in my mouth right there. Uh... 
evidently regenerates more quickly than I had uh, first thought. I do want to kill the foot arm, though, just because I think it's funny how it looks when it's gone. So hopefully I can do that! Haha! We did it! That's hilarious. Although I cannot help but notice that the arm is still there. Uh, also, totally disconnected, but there. Th okay, that's really weird. Um, whatever. We did it. <laughs> so slow, Hojo. I almost thought he was going to do it a third time. Oh, well, looks like we did it. Again. Oh, he exploded! That's good, right? That means we're done, right? If only. Nope, now it's life form, Hojo. Uh, yeah. I gotta say, though, not as hard as I remember- as I had thought. Clearly I was misremembering some. Uh... Let's use Alexander! I think that'll be fun. And if he's weak as anything, it's gonna be holy. I mean, come on. Okay, yeah, that's clipping with the environment a little bit. But... It's okay, because... The giant cat robot castle is gonna shoot laser beams at you. Uh, honestly, I don't feel like that was all that good. Haha, -ha, immune! Having the ribbons actually does make Hojo a lot easier. <laughs> It really is worth saying. <laughs> this is the part where you die, Hojo! Or not. Hmm. I don't want to use Hades, because he might actually... That might actually not damage him? Uh, okay, yeah. That's poison. Uh, I can cure that. Cloud can cure that. Cloud has the cure. It's called Poison Up. Uh, also, he inflicted slow on everyone at some point. I think, I'm pretty sure we can counteract that with more... Big Guard. At least temporarily. I mean, realistically, he's probably gonna just, you know, slow us again. Uh, he seems to have inflicted darkness on Barret, But it didn't stop Barret from hitting him with death blow, so you know... You're not really doing great there. Um, Hojo, oh hey, and he's dead. I mean, I don't think he was really more of a threat than Proud Claude, but he wasn't any easier than Proud Claude either, they're, I'd say they're about the same. Although, in fairness, I my double ribbons pretty hard, hard counter Hojo pretty badly. Okay. Poison was born. Cover was born. And I got a power source. And Hojo is gone. Which is good, because he's literally the worst. Or at least he was. I suppose... I suppose the, that slot goes to the runner-up now. Presumably the runner-up is Sephiroth, but you know, I'm not 100% sure about that. There is at least a little bit of competition for runner-up. Not so for the first place. So it would seem. 
Also, the cannon didn't fire, so you know, that's good. Sephiroth didn't get a supercharge on his battery. Seven more days. That's what Grandfather said. So we have a week. And boy, are we ever going to use that week to dick around. Oi. Sounds like a plan. Where the hell's Marlene? Seriously. We don't- I don't know. Then, if we don't release the power of the Holy in seven days... The p Come to think of it, that's a little bit biblical, isn't it? I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that. Mm. Then again, the villain is called freaking Sephiroth, so... There you go. I mean, the whole point is that we think we might stand a chance of winning, I'd say. Otherwise, what would the point of fighting be? I guess, I guess the point could be to go down fighting, but... I just like that sort of nit of defeatist attitude. Hmm. There's that as well. Indeed. I think we are fighting for ourselves. We are all fighting for ourselves. And whatever is important to each of us. So... Hmm. What would that be for each of them? Some of them are easier than others. Cloud just stated his. Barret is pretty obvious as well. I think you say Red is fighting for his family? Vincent probably just wants revenge, straight and si pure and simple, which he sort of got. Um, whatever Casey says, he, like, reservations aside, he is in legitimately interested in protecting people. Um, I'd say Tiva's sort of in this for Cloud. Yuffie and Sid are a little harder to say, because Yuffie sort of just wants materia, and Sid... Well, Sid definitely d wants to stop the planet from ending, but his motives are mostly self... They're mostly... Like, in... Self-directed. Also, he wanted revenge on Shinra, but, you know, we've already handled that. Also, that, yeah. Revenge against Shinra. I think most of the people here wanted revenge against Shinra as well. Mm hmm. Maybe. I mean, honestly, that's not a terrible plan. Give everyone the last chance to take a break, and, you know, as he said, figure out what they're really fighting for. Oh, hey, Tifa's here. I mean, all of her family's dead, so... There's, like, Cloud. Everyone's gone. Hmm. But I'm sure they'll come back someday. They will, don't you think? I mean, someday is pretty vague. You have a week. Oi. Basically, physical god, yeah. Well, I mean, although he's already been killed. Huh. Again, the religious parallels are there. Uh, as long as we're together, 
I'll never give up, no matter how bad it gets. No matter how close we are now, we were never... Or we were far apart before? Hmm. But then... We found instrumentality. And everything was one. Or something like that. This... That depends what they are, I suppose, within this context. I mean, I'm not even really sure whether she's being metaphorical or literal. So... Yeah... Better get some sleep, alright. I guess Tifa didn't like Cloud enough. Because I know this scene is a little... ends a little bit differently. If you have the relationship meter from the dating minigame, it still carries over a little bit. But yeah, I know the scene is a little bit different if you have that, have that meter high enough with Tifa. Although this is still quite sweet, I must say. Okay. Although maybe I'm mistaken, that was the good one version of the scene. I don't know. I've only seen it, like, twice. So... It's not something that I've gotten every time. <laughs> That's what happens when you neglect half of your party. And Tifa's definitely been on the end of that party neglect before. Indeed. To the high wind! Again! Well, I guess everyone's gone. And he's doing the sit-ups again. Or squats, rather. Damn it, Cloud, that Zax thing! What? You're the pilot! Now I am concerned. Oh, well, the ship started up. I guess that must mean someone other than Cloud is driving. Thankfully. And it's Katie, and also Barrett, and also Sid. Or at least it's the Casey doll. In, fa in fairness. I mean, now that I think about it, why the hell would Reeves not participate? I mean, we're not going to let him participate, don't get me wrong. But given the option, why the hell would he not? He's not in any physical danger. I mean, he's in physical danger from the, you know, the planet being blown up but not from participating in the fight, because he's remote-controlled. And it's Red, running from off-screen. Was there even any space over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Also, the vampire! No, no, we definitely wanted you to come. I mean, presumably... He wants to... Hmm... Well, he probably would want to resolve the Lucia thing by dealing with Sephiroth. But also, he probably doesn't want to die when the planet explodes. What about Yuffie? Oh. There she is. She was totally planning on stealing her materia. There's no other reason for her to be hi hiding like that. I mean, seriously. Oh, and she's sick again. Indeed. <gasps> it's the flower girl music. Smiling to the end. Let's all go together. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her and now she's stuck. Wait, that doesn't sound right. I thought she had already returned to the planet and... Hmm. Anyway. It's our last battle. We only have six days to stop Sephiroth. It is time for side quests! Oh hey, but first, uh, achievement get, and also, High Wind Transform! It's time for Rocket Mode! Um... It's the High Wind Crew. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we might be better served if they went and returned to their stations so that we did not explode. Uh, but maybe that's just me. Yes! Yes, we will save the game. Uh... So, a uh, little pet peeve while we're here. Why is it that it can remember where I, where my latest save is when I'm loading, but it can't do it when I'm bloody saving? Uh, in any case, we're gonna stop off here. Join me next time when we don't go anywhere near North Cave, but we do other stuff instead. Until then, this has been Final Fantasy VII. And have a great day. Bye.